As you may have heard, the Pope recently partially revoked his condemnation of condoms. Ah, but only with very clear stipulations. Or not so clear as the case may be, or in fact, in this case, was. You see, when the speech was translated from German to Italian, they messed up the gender. So what he said was, in fact, that female prostitutes could now carry condoms to their oh-so-sinful business, and in fact he meant for males, male prostitutes, to have this opportunity. They are now desperately trying to correct this big PR problem so that no one, you know, commits big sins against the Catholic Church. I find this quite hilarious because the entire problem here is this illogical one group that he has chosen. You know, if everybody was allowed by the Catholic Church to use protection, they wouldn't have this problem. There wouldn't be any misunderstandings. Ah, but the Pope doesn't want to prevent any sex that could lead to pregnancy. So only male prostitutes, and only those infected with HIV. In other words, if you are a homosexual male and you are infected by HIV, the Catholic Church now says it's plenty okay for you to have as much homosexual sex as you would like, just be sure to call yourself a prostitute and demand money for the sex. That's all. And, of course, this one crack in the otherwise wall, impenetrable wall, that the Catholic Church has set up can perhaps lead to protection being more widespread. Because this really highlights all the situations in which the, the couple is not allowed to protect themselves. Female prostitutes, whether they just don't want children for the obvious reason that they probably can't raise them because quite a lot of prostitutes are prostitutes because they're forced to. They don't have a choice. They have to make money and this was the trade that they could partake in. Or let's say they have some kind of sexually transmitted disease. They still can't protect themselves regular couples, you know, man and woman, married, can't protect themselves, regardless of if one of them has a disease, if they can't handle having any more children, let's say they have ten already, and they can't earn enough money, they don't have enough room in their house to, you know, provide for all of them, no, still cannot protect themselves, not by Catholic law, or, you know, the Catholic set of rules. And just even homosexuals, only those infected by HIV and who insist on being, you know, those who choose to be prostitutes or are forced into prostitution, only in that case. I'm not even entirely sure if it's okay for a homosexual male prostitute to use a condom if he knows that the person he's going to be having sex with does have HIV. And what if it just hasn't been discovered yet? Maybe it's been a while since this homosexual male prostitute last went to the physician and was tested. And I don't know, do... Maybe the Pope is in favor of, you know, dispensaries where you have to show up, you know, somehow prove you're gay, don't know how they're going to work that one out, and, you know, prove with a piece of paper, yes, I am HIV positive, you know, maybe um, underground trade will now begin in which documents like that will be falsified so that people can have sex. Maybe straight men will you know, insist that, no, no, I'm actually gay and I will be having sex with a man. Don't worry, Pope. 
I will be having sex with someone of my own gender. Now please let me protect myself during the sex. Honestly, I think the Pope just needs to get off his high horse and just let everyone protect themselves during sex. Those were my two cents on it.